Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with uh, Atletico Madrid for our end of season review for Atletico. So um, let's get straight into it, really, because nothing else has happened transfer-wise. Um, yeah, I don't think anything major has happened. But if we get straight into it, um, we had our 3-0 win over Barca. Then we took on Villarreal, which was a 3-0 win away, which was pretty good. Felipe, um, Trusov, and then Olivier with goals there. Then we had a 1-0 uh, away win over, over Rio, Gazzetti with a the goal. Then we lost 2-0 to uh, Barca in the second leg, which was pretty close. They had a man's off later on. They had two early goals, which were really, really worrying for me. This is, um, But in the end, it was 3-2, so we won. This has really annoyed me. Marcelo Alley, um, who Barca signed for £20 million, um, from Spartak. I wanted to sign I actually put the bid in and agreed an offer with him, but he decided to go to them instead of us, and he's been doing great for them. 15 goals in 24 games. I was really pissed off. Like I really wanted to get this guy, um, but unfortunately I couldn't. Um, but after that, we went and played Valladolid and beat them 3-0. Carlos, um, Trusoff and Shongwe with goals. We drew 1-1 away, actually, with uh, Real Batista Rogerio with his first goal. But um, drop points there, I, I would see. 2-0 um, over Sevilla, though. Rossini and Olive with goals. Mallorca was 4-0. Rogerio, Rossini, Trusov and Olive with goals. 2-0 over Valencia. Rogerio and Francia with goals. 1-1 uh, with Granada. Garcia with the goal there, surprisingly. Um, but more drop points as well. But um, at this stage, we are pretty much sort of in, in the lead here. 2-1 over Athletic Bilbao, Olive and Koulibaly. Then we beat Barca, 3-0, Mara, Yama, um, Olive and Francia. This basically sort of, in a way, gave us the title. 1-1 um, th over Real Madrid, though. Um, Olive with the goal there. Um, quite a close game, actually. Um, they took the lead early on. We got a really late on. Um, so I was quite happy with that in the end. Um but then we took on Osasuna, which is a 4-0 win. Rogerio, Garcia, Trusov, and Olive here. Then we took on Almira, 4-1, even with a sending off. Uh, Biffy, Israel, Koulibaly, and Shongwe. 4-0 over Real Sociedad. Matteo Cole with a really rare goal there. Uh, Rogerio, Trusov, and Olive with goals. 3-1 over Malaga. Um, Momsilov, Rogerio, and Olive. 3-0 over Elche. Uh, Garcia, Guzzetti, and... Uh, Friedrich with goals and then finally in the Spanish Cup final um, we had a 2-1 win over Real Madrid which is pretty cool here um, we went down 1-0 to Victor Manuel Galán del Rio <laughs> yep that is the name that's always said about everything about him which is pretty crazy but then in the second half Trusov got um, put us back on level terms and then Rossini literally subbed on um, with uh, in like 65 minutes scored a cross um, to give us the win there and actually beat Real Madrid for once in a Spanish Cup final. So, because for us before, um, we had previously lost three times to them, but now we've won it two times, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that was the, that in sort of league-wise. We won the league, 98 points, seven points over Barca in the end. Uh, Real Madrid did come back to win. Rayo had a bit of a crash, went down to 11th in the end. So, pretty poor from them. If we look at their fixtures... Look at that. Look at that run there. My god, that is just awful. Look at the start. Like, the start wasn't too bad, but damn. Um, but in the end, 31 wins, 5 draws, 1 loss. Not as good as last year. Um, but anyway, yeah, we still actually finished, to be fair, though. But that's because we have other things going on. Um, but I do want to show you the stats of the squad so far. Um, 28 goals for Olive, which is pretty good. Rossini's got 16. Francis has got 15. 11 for Felipe. 8 for Shongwe, uh, Trusio's got 7, is this why Felipe's got 16, um, no, Rossini's got 16, Felipe's got 13, Olive's got 12, Francis's got 11, uh, Mari Yama's got 9, um, but yeah, so take you through our Champions League run now, um, we had Napoli in the first knockout round, don't just, what is going on there, oh it sort of puts everything, there you go, date, so, first off was Napoli uh, at home. First knockout round, 4-0 victory in the end. Very comfortable in the end for us. Uh, Felipe and Olive sort of made it 2-0 really early on. Um, so, that was pretty good for us. And then Carlos got a goal 
and Francia got a goal. Uh, it was 3-0 at half-time, and then Francia made it 4-0 at half-time um, to give us the win there. And I just realised that was the second leg. The first leg was a 0-0 win. Uh, not 0-0, what is wrong with me? 0-0 draw. Um, we dominated, though, so it was really annoying not to get the... Um, Result. It sort of seems that in the, in sort of legs, we normally take a nil nil first leg, and then go on to win the second leg. So we beat them four nil in the second leg. Course finals. Who do we have? We have Man City of all people, um, and we somehow get a one nil win away with a man sent off on 61 minutes. Felipe got a really early goal, well half an hour goal, um, and then Mumsalov got set, sent off, and then we just sort of shut up shop and just didn't tried not to concede they dominated overall but I was really happy to go back with a 1-0 um, victory away which is pretty cool there um, then we had the second leg and I nearly nearly uh, threw my laptop across the room at 10 minutes in um, Reynald Roy and Brian put them up 2-1 uh, so I needed to score three at least there's Reynald Roy um, and then there is Brian um, very good players for them so I would have had to score three at that point, but um, we did. Francia decided to step up and just say, okay, boys, it's all right. I got this. Um, 20 minutes, and then 25 minutes, 44 minutes, and then 86 minutes. So I was I was pretty happy. Actually, we only need to score two. Yeah, two. Sorry. Um, but the thing is, though, Biffy was sent off again. We had two cent sendings off for centre backs. He was sent off right at the start, and then we held on him. Um, Francie actually made it better by getting a sixth minute goal. So he got four goals in that game, which was, gave us the 4 2 win and the 5 2 win on aggregate, which is amazing. Um, Semi final, though, we had Barca. Um, it was a 3 1 win at home, though, which was for us, which was really good. I'll leave with two, Momsalov with one. It was kind of, I wanted the Spanish teams because I know I can beat them. So, yeah, Marcelo Al, um, the player I wanted, scored against us, unfortunately. Uh, second leg, we lost 1-0. Um, but, but, Eric got the goal in the second half. But, that means we went 3-2 three, three, on aggregate. And guess who we have in the final? Yep, says it right there. Chelsea. We faced them two years ago in the Europa League final. We won that. Um, now, we have them in the Champions League final. To finish the pentagon this could be the end for us uh pentagon wise and then move on to bigger things or i could be here for another season or two hopefully it's the first um if we show you chelsea they have just got better they have they won the league i think last year no two years ago um but look at their team their team is ridiculous they still got checked uh tiore and uda up front they've just got better over time which is just oh, look at, look at him Look at Czech Torre. He's got 26. He hasn't done as well actually this year. Um, but look at their team. It's just so so. I just want to cry. They won seven 0 over Huddersfield before this. Um, <laughs> but if we show you their their Champions League sort of run, there we go. Uh, they had they basically dominated their group. Uh, came top six wins at six. Also sooner somehow they um they got into the knockout round, which was pretty cool there. Um, then they had Inter, who... Oh, yeah, so basically, if we come second, we would have taken Chelsea on in the first knockout round. They drew 1-1 away and then won 5-1 at home. PSG 1-0 away and then 1-1 at home. Real Madrid, they actually lost 3-1 away and then won 2-0 at home. So they had the away goal rule. Would have loved Real Madrid for the final, not Chelsea. But unfortunately, that's not to be. So, yeah, we can go straight into it. Match preview. We've They've won more than us, but we have me managing with the win. So this is the team to go with. Um just need to see if there's any last minute changes I need to make. No, let's keep it like that. So in goal we have um Realid, Claudia Realid, who has just got better and better with age. She's had bids um from PSG and whatnot. Um Pastel, our right back, who's been our, probably one like our most highly rated player. Twenty eight now. Great, great player. Um, Svafsson, the hero of last final, and he is basically a very, very good player for us overall. Even though he's 31, he's still playing in the Champions League final. Momsalov, um, he's actually had interest from Man U and Man City, bidding up to 30 million for him. So he's definitely very good there. Cole, who is our young Spanish left back, 20 years old, starting in a Champions League final. Um, yeah. And then we have Carlos, who's 21, 
but he's still he warrants his place there. Thirty five point five million worth there, along with Israel's twenty four. Obviously, um, you know them. Mario Yama starts on the wing. Um, hmm. Do I start him on the wing there, or do I bring on Felipe? Changes. Changes are going to be made here. Changes will be made. Felipe will start on the wing. Um, you might call that controversial, but Felipe has done it for us. He's 31, but he will he does the business for us. Olive starts in the attacking mid role. He's been great this season. 28 goals, 12 assists. You can't say no to that. Um, Trusov starts on the left wing. Our Russian inside forward for 5 million. He has been picking up form recently a lot, so hopefully he does well. And then Francia up front, the 19-year-old Italian, who hopefully can fire us into um, a win here. So, okay, let's submit the team. I think I'm going to start the same taxes as last time. Go with the counter. They have Courtois in goal still, age 37. Um, right back is Asiri, a Saudi Arabian right back. Looks pretty solid. Uh, Tanner, who is an English centre-back. Looks solid. Um, Cuevado, a is that Bolivian? Yes, it is Bolivian. Yes, <laughs> centre back, thirty years old. I uh, hope we can sort of exploit that age. Along with uh, Marcio, Italian left back. Um, he's pretty old, but he's still fast. Damn it. Uh, Ryan Ledson, one of the only real players left, playing for them centre mid. Along with uh, Janssen. A Dutch, oh, a Dutch, holy shit, oh my god, how am I going to beat them sort of centre mid with those mentals that, if I had him, I'd be, he'd be tutoring everyone, he just, just everyone. Um, Bruno Fernandes on the wing, great mentals as well, surprisingly, because they don't have their normal right mid on. Don't know where he is, but there's a different one normally there, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. Then they have Nevada on the left wing, who's very, very good there. And then obviously the two people up front, uh, Chiek Torre. And um, Bulele, Bulem, Odua, just ridiculous French strikers. So let's just get straight into it. They are the favourites for this. And I know, yeah, I know why they would be. But they were the favourites for the Europa League and we won that. But I'd rather have the Europa League loss and the Champions League win than the other way around. So let's let's go and try and win this thing. Okay. Um, yeah, start counter rigid, retain possession, uh, let's change this now, look at that, changing it now, I'm learning boys, uh, and girls, don't know, probably not, um, but let's start the match, whew, okay, let's see if we can do this, most likely going to be their highlights to start with, but, for Israel with a free kick over this car. Thought it could be a really, really good start to us for us there, but unfortunately wasn't to be. We have another free kick. Felipe puts it into the box. Falls to Felipe again. Oh, he's put it over. I had a two good start chances early on. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Ten minutes in. Real lib with a long goal kick at Olive. Falls to Francia. Whew, long range shot there. Courtois saves. Felipe with a corner. Puts it into the box. Pulls out to Israel, Francia, Francia, bottom corner, that's one nil up, 11 minutes in. The early pressure has paid off for us so far, even though we're on counter. Great work there. Francia's 16th goal of the season, does that read? Yes, it does. Whew. Okay, now we need to keep this lead. Last time they took the lead and they lost, so Aliva tries to win the header. Israel, really, really well, just plays it down. Francia gets good connection with it, off the post and in, nearly missed that. But great goal to put us in the head there. Chelsea will be coming forward for us now, though. Um, hopefully we can count on the counter now. 25 minutes, we have a corner. Again, Felipe, Israel falls to him, but he just doesn't fall for him. Chelsea have the chance to count here. Torre on the ball. Torre puts that over. Whew. That was close. That was really close there. Could have been a chance for us or them. Or, I mean, a goal. It was a chance for both teams. Half an hour goes by. Nothing happening. I think Olive injured someone. Felipe with another free kick. Plays it out. Trusov. 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 The five million man. Yes. Francia and Trusov. Players that I've both signed and haven't had the best of starts. But have come through for me now in this final. Trusov with a great turn there. Bottom corner. Yes. 
37 minutes in, great time to score there. It's eighth goal of the season. Oh, okay, they've got a highlight straight from kickoff though, which isn't good. Ledson into Nevado. Svafson clears again, great work by him, but Trusov can't win it. They have been, as it said that on the side there, they have been dominant in the air. We don't have the tallest team, apart from probably Svafson. Torre, real it saves though. Holy shit, this has been completely different to the Europa League final. Cole with a throw in. Olive into Carlos. Israel. Oh, he's lost it on the edge of the box there. Momsalov with great interception though. Out to Cole. Or Sol. Momsalov. Carlos. Olive. Trusov. Oh, Courtois saves. Could have been three. Felipe with a corner. Doesn't fall. Carlos gets onto that. Plays into Trusov. But it's cleared again. Looks like that might be it. Oh no, another chance before half time. Olive. Pastel. Israel. Between the two of them loads. Olive gets in on the action. Israel again. Ah, oh, no one was making the run and he tries to hit the shot, but it goes wide there. Would have been great to go in 3 0 up. But that's it. Last game, they dominated the entire half and then got a goal in the extra time in the first half. This game, we just dominated. They've had two chances and that's it. But this don't, I really don't want to jinx this. I'm just going to get them all green, apart from Trusov, and go straight back out there and try and just keep it up because. I know they are deadly. Jansen, thankfully, has got a knock, so hopefully they'll take him off. Momsolov. Filippo with the interception. Oh, why would you cut off there, Jansen? Real lid. Those are the goals that go straight in, but real lid saves that. Thank God for that. That would have been terrible first, like straight away into the second half, but definitely this half I can see them coming on a lot more. Um, Kalevo down the right. Looks like they've made us... Oh, what a fucking tackle by Momsolov. What a fucking tackle. I didn't know what to say about that. Because I thought he was so far behind them that he wouldn't get to that. But somehow he got in there and pulled that away. And we nearly scored from that, actually. Because I was talking about Momsolov. Don't know if that's saying it right. Probably not. Uh, Monkilov. Felipe with a free kick. Oh, that was a terrible one, mate. I put you in. Come on. Um, justify your place, that's the word. Francia with the win there. Olive. They loses the ball out. Janssen, though. Just Momsolov clears again. Francia. Francia making a good run here. Israel. Carlos. 3-0. 3-0. Yes, it is. Holy shit. Oh, my fucking God. What a fucking move there. Francia. I thought he held on to the ball way too long, but pulled all the defenders out. Israel finds his mate, Carlos. And Carlos puts it into the basically open net. And this has just been a bit... I don't want to say it, but... A bit too easy. Don't know. I expected a, a like. To be fair, let's make a substitution here. Um, let's bring on Kevin Schroeder for Oliver. He isn't. Oh no, doesn't doesn't work. Um, ah, Felipe comes inside. Oliver hasn't had the best games. Bring on Mara Yama, who kind of got um, a bit of a disappointment getting taken out of the first team squad right on the day. Um, give him a chance there, but. In a way, I'm kind of more proud of my Europa League final win, in a way, because it was such against the odds that I won that. Felipe with a corner. Back post, Mariuma. Uh, cleared. Oh, bloody hell. Really gets that. Um, but yeah, it was a bit harder, that one. This one's been a bit, just sort of, no challenge, which is weird. Which kind of shows what my, like, me taking over has done, I guess. Because we struggled, and now we're sort of just easily Mariuma. Courtois wins, gets that. Um, but yeah, we've we've played great today, I'd say. We haven't really given them anything. Great tackle again. Really, with another say, Real Lid has just been amazing in goal. And he's only like 23 now, so he's got a great future ahead of him. I do want to show you a youth player I've got in as well, um, who will definitely become good. Uh, Felipe wins that into Trusov. Going to try and run at the Chelsea defence. Francie on the ball. Tries to play it to Marayama. Mm, Marayuma. Can't even pronounce it. Oh, Janssen. Real Lid saves again. He just He's just a rock at the back. Tries to play it out to Trusov. Doesn't win it. Shiek Torre on the ball now. Tomasen. Trying to play it between them. Gets the cross in. Shiek Torre takes it way out again. And that goes out for a corner kick. Chelsea coming on late on in the 10 minutes. If we couldn't see three in 10 minutes, I'll be pissed. But that goes straight through. I thought there might be a penalty there. But it was not in the end. Okay, six minutes to go. I'm going to bring on the other two substitutes. Who deserves to come on in the Champions League final? 
for a scene he does. Don't know why he wasn't before. And Schroeder does. So there we go. I have faith, I have faith in both of you for five minutes. Um at least they can say they play in the Champions League final, as there will be no more highlights. Wow. That it was in in my opinion quite anticlimactic. Three nil win. It was so it was so simple. Israel gets man of the match for his two assists. And we've won the Champions League with Atletico. Um it wasn't spectacular. Um well it was kind of in a way, because it was just so dominant against them. We even played on counter. Don't know if that had anything to do with it, but that's it. The Pentagon is completed. Um which is a bit crazy. Um I guess plans for the future wise, uh I will be going on to newer things, I guess, newer clubs. I'm probably going to stay, though, with Atletico, at least until the Club World Championship, because I have not won that yet. I've always left, and I've never won it yet. Um, so I'm going to stay and try and win it with Atletico, and then I will probably go on to somewhere else. Um, let's just go through this stuff here. We um, win the quadruple. Drupal. The VVA, Spanish Cup, Spanish Super Cup, and Champions League. All that we could do. They were delighted. They worship me. Wow. Um, nursing their hangovers. Maybe I'm a legend at the club. Diego Costa hails Wonder Maker more. Um, but that's pretty cool there. So, okay. Just go through the normal stuff. Anything important? There we go. Lift Champions Cup. Israel impresses. Fans jubilant. Squad bonus payout. Champions League review. We were the winners. So, eight, nine million for that. I am on the Hall of Fame for the manager, the greatest English manager of all time. Oh my god, wow. That's surprising. I am now the greatest English manager of all time. I took over Bob Paisley with that, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, um, surprisingly. But, um, yeah, that is it so far. It's been a, it's been a journey, I have to say. Um, Starting out in the depths of Malaysian football with the uh, Singapore Lions, crazy stuff with them. Um, we, like, I'll just go through a little run through, I guess, in a way. Um, yeah, started off with the Singapore Lions, had three great seasons with them, I think it was. Won everything we could win, won the Asian Confederations Cup, but realised I had to go other places to um, win the Asian Champions League. Adelaide picked me up, won the regular season twice, um, and then. Uh, yeah, won the regular season twice and then went on to win the Asian Champions League, which was a pretty resounding victory, I remember, too, as well. Um, we left there, went to the first job available in South Africa, blow him Celtic, who, bottom of the league, went on to win the South African FA Cup, and then after that, kind of dominated um, South African Premier League, Super 8 Cup, the Af African Confederations Cup, then the African Super Cup, won the league again and the FA Cup again, and then finally the Champions League there. Then we sort of made it a small stop in Brazil in a way. One in the Brazilian Cup and the Copa Libertadores with Flamengo. So, I don't know. In a way, I haven't done much there. So I might go re revisit that. Same time we won the Olympic Games with Brazil. Then we went to CD Leon in Mexico. A team I wouldn't surprise. I, was, I thought I'd go for one of the big teams. But in the end, we won the league twice with them and then won the Champions League. I do want to show you this though. They have dominated the Champions League. They have just they like they weren't in it last in 2028 because they were in the Copa de Libertadores, but every time they've been in it after I won that they've won it. They've had three like nearly successive wins there, which I account to uh, my uh, my legacy there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we actually won probably one of the most probably along with Singapore Lions with Atletico, won the Europa Cup when I came in for them. Well, I didn't do anything with Newcastle on away, which I'm quite sad about. Did nothing really with them. We got through, um, it's the Europa League knockout round, bought some great players for them, but they've sold them and sort of went into a bit of not not very good there. Um, but we won the Europa Cup, beating Newcastle on the way, won the league, won the Super Cup, won the Spanish Cup, won the league again, a Super Cup again, another league, another Spanish Cup, and then finally the European Champions League, um, which is just crazy to see. How much I've won now. Look at like look at that all. 
those are all awards just for me. Personal awards, I've won quite a few. Um, but which is pretty just awesome to see. I think it, I guess in a way it's we can sh look in the um, Hall of Fame, but that doesn't show like Super Cups and whatnot. We are currently seventh in the all-time lead leaderboard. We um taken over Jurgen Klopp now, so if you see there, we've done really well. Um, I guess uh, what else to look at? We speak. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. I want to sort of add to this. We speak English, Malay, Spanish, and Portuguese. So I want to add to that in a way. Um, yeah. So those are the general stats overall. Um, don't know. Seventy-nine win percent ratio is pretty good, though. I have to say. Um, but I think there we go. Games. Are there total career stats? That's with Atletico. 73 is alright. 24 cup wins and 12 leagues, which is not too bad there. Um, biography, I guess. We've won quite a lot there. If you want to stop it and look at that, um, I guess. That's, that's, you can do that. That's the that view. Overview. Um, but yeah. So, uh, anyway. I will be back, probably for the Confederations Cup final, maybe, if we get there. Um, otherwise, or... or so I mean Confederations Cup. Why did I say Confederations Cup? Um, I meant Club World Championship, maybe. I might be here for the Confederations Cup final. I probably will live come that if we do it. But this is where um, you guys come in. I need some help with what to do next with this save. Because I do want to keep it going. Because it is a great save to do. Because um, it keeps it fresh all going to new clubs. I've got some ideas. Um, I think I've said it a few times before in videos. Um, but firstly... There's a number of options I can do. Um, these are the leagues I got open. Um, and remove leagues. Got Argentina, Brazil, England, France, Germany, Holland, Italy, and Spain so far. But I can do whatever you guys want. There's been a few initial ideas. Um, going back to Mexico for a while. Stay with Leon or go to another Spanish club there. Go back to Brazil. Try and bring a Brazilian club up through the leagues and whatnot. Maybe. I'm not. I'm, that's not... 100% sure on that. Uh, go to South Africa, build a legacy there. Try and because the problem with South Africa, when I left them, they sold everyone. Um, but I want to see if I can do anything there again, um, or try and do sort of international stuff, or like go to Holland, go to Croatia, do a bit of a youth legacy thing, or just do like a big big club hopper. So I basically maybe like the the Champions League challenge where I go to each sort of big club. And try and win stuff in each sort of league. So I've won everything I can in Spain right now. So I might go to um, France and take on um, where is it Saint Etienne or Lyon or like Toulouse and try and win stuff there with them because PSG have sort of dominated. Um, or then and then I'll go to uh, England and Germany and Holland and Italy and try and win things everywhere. May I think that maybe that one's the most sort of thing, but I want your guys' advice. If there's anything else you want as well, um, free feel feel free to suggest it. We do have the Confederations Cup coming up. We're in a group with Nigeria, Spain, and USA, so Spain will be the ones to look out for there. But yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I guess leave a like for the completion of my Pentagon. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's me, Alex, and I'll see you guys later.